Growing crisis at the border with the influx of migrants trying to get into the U.S. has now forced the closure of a major border crossing in southern Arizona. Yeah, we're seeing record numbers of people coming across. This is an election year. Uh, we are a, a, a you know purple state, mm -hmm. and you would think something will be done, but that's not happening. In fact, the opposite is happening. The Lukeville port of entry is now shut down because of this surge of immigrants. So if you're trying to get to Rocky Point, uh, Daniel Miller, it got a whole lot longer to get there and a little bit more involved. Yes, that is absolutely right. I want to turn the camera around really quick. So this is about 200 migrants who crossed illegally um, here into the state. They have been waiting here all morning, and they just announced over the loudspeaker that this port of entry uh, is closed. The operations are closed. So they just opened the gate, and... That is what is happening out here at this port of entry. So as far as vehicles, anybody crossing in or out of the state, that is not allowed. All of this started early this morning. It was put out by the CBP Office of Field Operations. They were saying that it will temporarily suspend operations here in Lukeville, Arizona, in order to redirect personnel to assist the U.S. Border Patrol with taking migrants into custody. Both northbound and southbound pedestrian and vehicle traffic at Lukeville Port of Entry will be suspended until further notice. So as far as people coming here from the state of Arizona trying to cross over into Mexico. We have been here all morning long. We have not seen anybody. So it definitely seems that people are taking the word. Uh, this was announced just on Friday. So people had the weekend to kind of uh, rearrange their travel plans if that was so necessary. So there is just one gas station right here and it is completely closed down as well. It says until further notice that is because it is closed here in this uh, in this area. We do know that there is just uh, about 30 miles away is the nearest kind of town as well as another gas station. So everybody is uh, definitely taking that warning. It is pretty. Uh, desolate out here. There is really nothing in this vicinity. Not a lot of people trying to uh, to come to this area. But yeah, the only thing that we have seen so far, there were about 200 people here, according to a Border Patrol agent. We also saw two buses pull up. They were filled completely uh, with the migrants waiting to uh, cross over here. And those buses are now gone. The Border Patrol agent was telling me that uh, they are processed right here and then they are taken to other parts of our state. So as far as those people who the gate just opened right there, I am not sure exactly Exactly. Uh, where they will be going because I know all the other people were waiting to be processed. They were processed and put on those buses. So uh, not 100%. I am trying to talk to Border Patrol out here. A lot of these agents uh, continue to say they just can't give me any information. They cannot talk to me. So trying well, yeah, to get more answers going, as to Danielle? exactly what's happening. Can you guys walk over I, there I am not sure, Troy. I, I have no. Yeah. I'm trying to. Well, are they boarding, are they so boarding a, a bus part of the, or are they walking into a building? Is no. there another building back there? No, there's no building. Nope, that is just a plain barren desert. Uh, there was just that one massive bus. There was also two smaller vans that pulled up. They did take people away. Uh, as far as where these people are going, I am not sure. I see two Border Patrol agents, uh, the police department, right behind them. I can try to talk to them, but yeah, I mean, people no, around here, talk. the Border Patrol agents are pretty yeah. tight-lipped. Yeah, they like will not talk right to us. It looks like they're walking right into the so. desert, does it not? Well, they, but uh, where and they're we going, do know, right, to a bus. Go ahead, Danielle. Yeah, according to a couple people out here, there is a part of the wall over there that uh, the cartel has uh, punctured some holes in there, and there's a huge migrant crossing right mm. uh, down the street. So I think a lot of people are coming in from that port. But they do as the same well. thing. They can walk right so. across the port of entry like this and, and surrender, which is what I would assume these people just did. It looks like it's almost exactly. exclusively young men. I didn't see any families, or did you see any women in there? There are. On the one bus that was a, a pretty large bus, there was two women. Everybody else was men. Um, I have not seen any type of children. There were the children early this morning that were crossing over to go to school. There were school buses that do pick them up and take them into uh, the state here, into nearby schools. So those were the only children that I have seen so far. But when we arrived here at about... Uh, 6 six thirty or so the border patrol agent told me that there was about 200 people waiting and then some of those people got processed and just as we were about to go live for this live shot here uh, over the loudspeaker they said this port of entry is now closed and that's when that gate opened and uh off those people went so oh, when you see border I am patrol not 100 sure in that truck yeah